Hello and welcome. Today I am going to start a new series on ASP.NET Core with SignalR. And in the first project, first part, I am going to add a web project and add the SignalR client library, create a SignalR hub, and configure the project to use SignalR. Finally, add code that uses the hub to send messages from any client to all connected clients. So at the end, we'll have a working chat app. So my prerequisite for this tutorial is Visual Studio 2017. I have got version. This is, we can check the version. This is community edition. And 15.8.4. So I need 15.8 or later. And with .NET Core SDK 2.1 or later. So first of all, I'll click on the file, new project, and I have got ASP.NET Core web application, and I will give it a name, Signal R Chat. Click on OK. My target framework is ASP.NET Core 2.1, which is fine. And I will leave the rest as default with no authentication and click on OK. My next step will be to add the SignalR client library. So let me have the project finished loading. I'll just close this. And in the Solution Explorer, I will right click the project and add client side library. And I look for product provider as UNPKG. And in this library within even PKG, I will have to look for at the rate ASP.NET front slash signal at the rate one. So I see that within the files as the root directory, I have got dist and browser with all the relevant items checked in. Here, what I will do that, you know, I will have this target location dub 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 root front slash lib front slash. I'll just get rid of at ASP.NET. So front slash signal R slash and then I'll install. It'll take uh, some time to install. And within that dub 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 root, I have got a lib, and within the lib, I have got signalr folder. And it has copied the selected files onto it. Now, next thing is to create a SignalR hub. So I'll, in the SignalR chat projects, create a hubs folder, add folder, name it hubs, and I'll have to create a class file chat.cs, chat class, so add class. So I'm sorry, it is chat hub. Let us give it the name chat hub dot chat hub class. So chat hub dot cs. And I have got the previously copied code. So I'll just 
highlight everything and paste the keyboard code now this chat hub class it inherits from signalr hub class the hub class manages connections groups and messaging now this send message method is an async method and it can be called by any connected client it sends the received message to all the clients and signalr code is asynchronous to provide maximum scalability now next step will be to configure signalr hub uh, configure the signalr so we'll look for the startup file within uh, startup startup.cs so this file and we'll add just copy over my clipboard code so here i am using signal art chat dot hubs okay and also i am adding services dot add signalr so these are two new things that i have just added to the existing code for the startup file and also there's a further down the line which is app dot use signal r for routing purposes this part of the code this changes add signal r to the asp.net core dependency injection system and the middleware pipeline now next part will be to replace the contents in pages dot index dot csm cshtml so index view on the pages folder let us bring it and I will just highlight the entire thing and paste the copied code earlier control V now in this preceding code it creates text boxes for name and messages text okay so for the um, this is a user and message these are the labels and these are text boxes id of user input and message input and it creates a list with id equals message list id is messages list for displaying messages that are received from the signal r hub and also includes script reference to signal r and chat.js application code that you create in the next step so it is got the script relevant scripts so next in the www root js folder i'll have to create a chat.js file add new item look for general plain js file so let's see where is it javascript file and name it chat.js chat okay so chat.js file is created and i'll copy over code from my clipboard so control v right and now I will build Control Shift B shortcut and see if there is any error. In this preceding code, this JavaScript code creates and starts a connection and adds to the submit button a handler that sends message to the hub and adds to the connection object a handler that receives messages from the hub and adds them to the list so it all succeeded right so finally i have to run the application it starts a connection over here again and adds to the submit button a handler so where is my submit button 
uh, send button yeah add event listener this one this part and adds to the connection object handler connection dot invoke this part that receives messages from the hub and adds them to the list so finally I've run the application and I will now just get the browser so start without debugging I've got it over here so I'll just uh, bring it there and I'll just copy over the same address from the top so two instances of the localhost port 44399 and how to test this application so let us see one of the user is Joe and Joe writes the message hi everyone and sends this message Joe says hi everyone and there's the other user Nancy that's Nancy let's correct the spelling so Nancy is not a name got your message Joe and send the message so Joe says hi everyone Nancy says got your message Joe so again Joe says hi everyone Nancy says got your message Joe Joe says hi everyone okay that's fine so that's working thanks for watching if you liked my video please click on your likes and comments and if you really like it subscribe to the video thanks very much